New at five, they want an all-natural grocery store in their neighborhood, but can't convince the chains to open one. So now some Denver neighbors, they're trying to do it themselves. 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez learning about the efforts to form a Stapleton community co-op. Each person in the community be can become a member with a $200 equity investment, and we plan to use that investment as collateral to get the financing we need to open a storefront. Thomas Spar is helping spearhead the drive for a community-owned grocery store. He has experience. While living in Northern California, he was a member of the co-op at UC Davis, a 25,000 square foot store with direct competition from Whole Foods and Trader Joe's. He says this concept is different. A lot of our food's going to be sourced locally. We'll look at innovative partnerships, uh, community gardens. Uh, we've been talking with the Urban Farm in Stapleton about possibly selling their foods. Spar says more than 400 people have bought into the concept so far, including Mohammed Moadine, who owns an auto repair shop at 25th and Dayton. I asked Moadine why he supports it. First of all, it's a small business. It's trying to get on, uh, I mean, on its feet, and I've been there. The second thing is it's, it's locally owned. And I believe in locally owned. Do you have to be a member to shop there? No, absolutely not. But Spar says members will get certain benefits, including a potential share of profits. They could get discounts in the store or special discount weekends, and they own the store. So they get direct input on what goes on the shelves and who their leadership is. Lance Hernandez, 7 News. Now, this group is hoping to get 400 more members before the end of the year so they can then go to the bank and talk finances. He says they're looking at four possible locations in the Stapleton and Northwest Aurora area. So we'll let you know what happens. Take